What's up, YouTube? Doja coming at you with another video here. Today I want to talk about fire starting. And uh, this is my fire bag that I keep um, that I keep in my my survival kit, survival bag. Uh, it does have a carabiner on there, but I probably won't keep that on there. Uh, I just put that on there to show you that it does have a D-ring. And uh, you can attach a carabiner to it. Trying to get you a... So you can gauge. This is just a standard size carabiner here. Uh, I'm trying to get you to, I'm trying to show you a you know gauge of how big this bag is versus uh, a standard size carabiner. So uh, it does have belt loops on this side, so it can be attached to my belt. Uh, it does have a top zipper. I wish I could zoom out a little bit more. Anyway, I'm trying to keep this all in, uh, keep this all in here. It's not a very big bag. I mean, you see how it fits. You know, that's that's my hand. So. <clears throat> uh, uh, this is a canvas style bag with uh, nylon straps on the back. It's got a just a standard plastic style zipper, which is not you know it's not waterproof or nothing. But everything on the inside I have waterproof, so in case you know in case I decide to accidentally go swimming or something while this is uh, strapped to my belt loop or something. You know, or fall into the water while it's in my bag. All my fire starting stuff will be safe and dry. Um, like I can say, um, let's go ahead and get this opened up. Take a look in it. See what I got. Uh, I'm kind of new with this, everybody. So if there's anything that I forget or forgot, please tell me. Um... I do take criticism pretty well. <laughs> so anyway, we'll go ahead and start start some of the stuff off. Pulling stuff out of this bag. Uh, this is just petroleum jelly and um, cotton balls. So I know that I know that'll start a fire pretty easy. Standard dryer lint, nothing special there. I know that works pretty good as um, tinder, fire tinder. I keep saying kindling but it's tender so there's my fire tender you know just trying to go fire tender um every one of these little packages i tried to package up with a fire starter and a little bit of tinder in it so in case something should happen and i got to split up with somebody i could just hand them say this back and it's already waterproof and it has an igniter and a way to for something to catch fire, something dry to catch fire. So, so here we have tinder, just cotton balls, and uh, light my fire um, ferro rod and the whistle. So, and the striker. This is just your standard strike on box matches uh, with uh, a cotton ball in between them. Like say you got something to start a fire with and something dry to um, get it going. A little bit of chapstick, a cotton ball, a, uh, a lighter, a big lighter, and a waterproof container or matches. Plus on the back of the on the bottom of this is a ferro rod has been glued to the bottom. I didn't know what that was when I first got it. I I, I, did, I really didn't know. I, I, I could not figure it out. And uh, finally I, I started I scraped some of the it's, it had like glue or something over the top of it. Whoever put this together didn't do a very good job. They, it used too much glue and the glue actually got on the furrow rod so I scraped all the glue off and um, did some did some striking on it. And it actually puts up some decent sparks. So you got uh, one, two, three, three ways right here of starting an ignition, a fuel for the cotton ball. You know, start up a, a small, uh, start a small fire. So we have just two standard Bic lighters and uh, four cotton balls stuffed into a bag. This is my magnesium. Um, 
try to keep everything in focus here. Magnesium uh, block with the um, ferro rod on the side here, and this El Cheapo, uh I don't know what you we call a striker ferro rod. What what it does is you you kind of grip it hard and you push down on it, and it throws sparks out. It, I didn't like it very much. I still don't, but you know it's. It may be worth something later on. Stay in focus, damn it. Well, focus. There we go. Um, plus some um, cotton balls in there, too. This one, I have four wet fire. Uh, little thing. I think these burn for like eight minutes. And uh, I just shoved a big lighter in there with them. And this one's not really for, for fire starting per se, but it's just for emergency candles and uh, and a little bit of tin foil in case you need to, I mean, you never know, you may need to waterproof something out there, you know, in the woods or something. Um, so you can use a tin foil to catch your, um, catch your wax if you want to waterproof something. Or you can just use this for uh, just make this little make uh, make little wax catches, you know, for um, for the candles. If you want to burn the candles, want to want that old candle ambiance going. So yeah, this is just all the stuff I have in my fire starting bag. <clears throat> if I've left anything out, please tell me. Uh, I'm still kind of new with this. Um, preparing is something that you know that I never really thought about until about a few months back probably about six months ago I had a buddy of mine he started talking about his bug out bag and I'm like oh, well what and uh yeah so he he kind of got me into prepping um I'm not crazy you know I'm not storing water you know yet in in five gallon buckets or nothing but you know in case something does happen you know I have I know that I can start a fire with this, so I'm starting to get pre prepared slowly. Uh, I know you can't, you know, get everything together in one in one day, so you know, if I left anything out, please tell me. I take criticism pretty good. Uh, if you have any tips or ideas, something else, maybe take something out of here. Uh, this isn't my only fire starting stuff that's in my bug out bag. Uh, I do have a, a light my fire knife that I keep, and it will probably stay on me. Um, also, I have a, a little marble mini flashlight that has dry matches in it, and I also uh, did some work with that. I put a some cotton. I put a cotton ball in there to you know give me some uh, some tinder, and that'll probably be in my pocket you know or something like that so anyway in case I can become separated in my bag I always have something else to start a fire with you know whether it be my light my fire uh, knife and uh, or the matches so anyway um, leave the comments below uh, if you like the video hit the like button if you don't hit the dislike button and tell me what you didn't like uh, like I say I take criticism pretty pretty well and um Next week I'm going to start doing, um, I'm going to start shouting out channels, um, probably one, probably one shout out a day starting next week, and, um, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe, uh, I always try to answer my comments that people leave behind, if you have a question, I do read up pretty much all my comments, so, uh, this is Dozer saying, uh, see you next video.